Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I am going to talk about an tetralogy of failure. So, tetralogy of failure is abbreviated as TOF. TOF, tetralogy of failure. So, this is the most common cyanotic congenital heart disease. And it is the most common cause of early childhood cyanosis. So, uh, before going to the discussion of tetralogy of failure, I am going to talk about the members and walls of the heart. I have drawn a heart here. The heart comprises of four chambers. The two are the atria. You can see this is the left atrium and this is the right atrium. And the two are the ventricle. This is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle. Left atrium and the left ventricle consist of the oxygenated blood. Therefore, I have drawn it on the red color. And the right ventricle and the right atria consist of the deoxygenated blood. Therefore, I have drawn here on the blue color. The heart have four walls. Uh, two are the interventricular wall. This is the right interventricular wall and this is the left interventricular wall. And a wall here you can see this is the pulmonary wall. Here you can see this is the pulmonary wall and this is the aortic wall. From the right ventricle goes through this pulmonary wall into the pulmonary artery. This is the aortic wall and the blood from the left ventricle goes through this aortic wall into the aorta. The tetralogy of failure consists of four abnormality. Tetra mean four. The first abnormality that I am going to discuss is the pulmonary infundibular stenosis. So, the infundibular is the funnel shaped area of the right ventricle which is open into the pulmonary artery. So, when this area becomes stenosed or become narrow, this condition is called pulmonary impendibular stenosis. So when this uh, stenosis occur, the blood from the right ventricle will not go easily uh, into the pulmonary artery. So the right ventricular pressure will be increases. When the right ventricular pressure is increases, there will be right ventricular hypertrophy. The second abnormality is the right ventricular hypertrophy. Here I have uh, drawn here that this right ventricle become hypertrophic. Here you can see this is not hypertrophic. So the third abnormality is the ventricular septal defect. Here you can see this is the ventricular septum and there is a defect. Here you can see this is small hole is uh, there in the ventricular septum. This is the third abnormality in the tetralogy. So whenever there is pulmonary stenosis and there is VSD due to increased resistance to the flow of blood from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery this will cause the blood from the right ventricle to flow into the left ventricle and this is called a right to left shunt so the fourth abnormality is the overriding aorta in this case the aorta is, ri is arise nearly from the ventricular receptor defect the aorta is just arise from here so most of the blood from the right ventricle will goes through this aortic opening into the aorta so these are the four abnormality which I have drawn here on the board. Now what are the clinical features? The clinical feature include the cyanosis as I have already discussed that most common cause of early childhood cyanosis. There will be cyanosis. Why cyanosis? Because the right ventricle consists of the deoxygenated blood uh, and there is pulmonary or infantable stenosis. So most of the deoxygenated blood will go through the septal defect into the left ventricle and then it will go through the aorta into the body so there will be a cyanosis and there will be clubbing because most of the blood is not oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is circulated in the body and the chronic low oxygen can cause the clubbing right ventricle impulse become increased because there is hypertrophy in the right ventricle therefore the pores of the right ventricle will increases and there is an ejection systolic murmur so the ejection systolic murmur occurs as a result of pulmonary wall or pulmonary infundibular stenosis when the blood in the systolic phase is going into the pulmonary artery there will be a systolic murmur will be here when we ascultate the chest of the patient so now how to diagnose this tetralogy of failure three investigation are mostly done for the work of tetralogy of failure so the first is the chest x-ray when we do a chest x-ray of the patient of tetralogy of fillet the heart of the patient will appear like a boot here you can see in the screen the ECG you will see the right axis deviation and on the echocardiography you will see the right ventricular hypertrophy you will see the impendable stenosis and you will see the ventricular septal defect 
and you will see the overriding of aorta. So this poor abnormality can be really seen in the echocardiography. So now how to manage this patient? This patient can be managed by two, two methods. One is by medical management, the other is by surgical management. But the medical management uh, is only done for uh, prevention and correction of complication and, and to relieve the symptom while the surgical management dependent to treatment of the part uh, the tetralogy of failure. Um, by medical management we actually prevent and correct the complication for example the patient may undergo into cardiac flavor so we will uh, try to prevent the cardiac flavor the other we give beta blocker because going to do some activity or when uh, he or she is crying the the system vascular resistance will be decreases the blood and can then easily flow through the aorta into the body and there the patient will become cyanose and the patient will become unconscious so this condition is called a tet spell and uh, the third thing we give iron supplement because there is low oxygen in the body and there is compensatory increase in RBC production. So for RBC production we give iron supplement. So the other is surgical management. Uh, the all four abnormality are corrected by the surgery at the age of four to eight months. So this was all about tetralogy of failure. For more video, subscribe, like and share. So thanks for watching.